In this video, I'll focus on quadratic inequalities. Okay, quadratic inequality is just some form of quadratic expression and the inequality sign. So we get to deal with the quadratic and apply inequality rules. Let's say you want to solve a quadratic inequality that looks like this. Okay, so the first thing now is to factorize this, this quadratic expression. To factorize this quadratic, we need to think of what to multiply together the product of two values to give minus 4 and the addition or subtraction of those values to give negative 3. So I think we should be able to use minus 4 and plus 1. Okay, that's supposed to be minus 4 and then plus 1. Okay, since minus 4 multiplied by 1 will be minus 4 and then minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Okay. Alright, so in order to do that, if the product is minus 4 and 1, then the factors will be x minus 4 and x plus 1. So you get to insert, just insert the, okay, greater than 0. Now, since we already have the factors and it is already greater than 0, now what to do now is to the the actually the meaning of this this greater than or equal to zero the meaning what it actually means is that the we need to deal with this inequality in such a way that we have values that will be greater than or equal to zero greater than or equal to zero implies positivity okay so we need to find range of values of x from this factor and from this factor in such a way that their products will be greater than zero or equal to zero. That is, their product will be positive. What are the range of values of x to be used in this factor such that it will yield positive values? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so the first thing to do now is we need to find the range of the values. To find the range of values, then we need to do we need to find the endpoints of the range of values. Notice that inequality is unlike equality equations. Equations deals with exact values, but inequality deals with range of values. So Let's say this is the end. These are the end points. To find the end points, we need to equate the factors to zero. The end points are the values of x when the factors are equal to zero. They are the zeros of x. So let's say x minus four is equal to zero, and then x plus one is equal to zero. Now, if x minus four is equal to zero, it implies that it implies that x will be equal to 4 and then x will be equal to minus 1 all right so we'll have something of this nature we'll have minus 1 right here and then we'll have 4 right here okay now notice that this tends to positive infinity and then this tends to negative infinity okay so to do this we have three range of values now what are these range of value this range this is a particular this is a particular range this is a particular range and also this is a particular range okay so let's name the range the name of this particular range is x less than minus 1 because this place consists of values of x that are less than minus 1 and that's why minus 1 is the end point all right this range of value represent values that are greater than minus 1 but these values are less than 4 now this range of value represent values of x 
that are greater than 4. Alright, so in order to choose which value of x, which range of values of x will be suitable for this quadratic inequality, then we need to test. Now, let's test a value in this region. Let's say minus 5. You can pick a value in this region from minus 1 to minus infinity. Alright, so if I pick up minus 5, upon substitution of minus 5 into this, okay, if I substitute minus 5, that means I will have minus 5 minus 4. And of course, that's supposed to be minus 9, which is a negative value. If I substitute minus 5 into this as well, I'll have minus 5 plus 1. And of course, minus 5 plus 1 is also a negative value. So if I multiply minus by minus, that will yield positive. Okay, I'm multiplying because at the middle of this product, at the middle of this factor, there is multiplication, you know, the brackets. So we get to multiply minus by minus, that's positive. Okay, I mean, this region satisfies the inequality. Now let's test this region as well. Okay region where x is greater than minus 1 and x is less than 4. Notice that we are dealing with greater than or equal to. So these values will have, should have the equal to as well. So this is supposed to be x less than or equal to minus 1. And then we need to shade this circle here. I already explained in my video where I talked about introduction to inequalities. Okay. So this should have equal to as well, equal to, and then equal to, because we are dealing with greater than or equal to. So if we test this region, we can pick a value in this region. Let's say I pick 3. Upon substitution of 3 into this factor, if I substitute 3 into this factor, then I'll have 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 is negative, that's minus 1. Okay, that's, that's another minus. If I substitute minus, I mean, if I substitute 3 as x in this factor, that's 3 plus 1, that's 4. Of course, that's positive. So minus multiplied by positive, that's negative. And of course, it does not tally with greater than or equal to 0. So that makes this, that means this region is not part of the region. Okay, so let's test for this value. Let's pick a value greater than 4. Let's say we want to pick 20. 20 minus 4, that's supposed to be a positive value. Okay. And then 20 plus 1, that is also positive. So we get to say positive multiplied by positive will be positive, which also tally with the condition, with the region. With the condition of the inequality okay so the region that satisfy this inequality are x less than or equal to minus 1 or x greater than or equal to 4 i made use of all in this case simply because the inequality does not overlap we have it on separate basis so i can draw the number line like this okay provide provided that i shade this okay we need to shade this because it includes four as well we are dealing with greater than or equal to all right in this case we are dealing with less than or equal to so it tends this way and i need to shade so greater than or equal to means i'll shade and i'll move this way if i didn't have equal to if i had only x greater than four i will not need to shade this point I'll, the arrow will just tend to this direction so this is the number line for this solution so i made use of all and not and because i do i have it on separate they do not overlap the range of values do not overlap x in this case is x x in this case is another x so x do not let's say i have something of this nature as the answer Okay, if I had something in this niche, if I had this kind of number line as the final answer, let's say the answer we had was x less than or equal to 4, 
and then x greater than or equal to minus 1 which is this region then if I split this I can have it as x less than or equal to 4 and x greater than or equal to minus 1 so I can make use of and in this case because x value lies it satisfies the two regions at once one value of x can be found in this region one value of x if it is found in this region it will not be found in this region okay let's say 5 if I pick up 5 5 is in this region notice that 5 is not in this region is not in this region so and that's why we say we can say 5 or minus 15 okay but in this case 5 if I pick up a value in this region let's say 3 of course 3 lies in this region so anytime you have something of this nature when you have the regions not overlapping going separate ways make use of all and then when you have it on one side make use of and okay also we may also write the interval notation for this solution notice that we have x less than or equal to minus 1 less than or equal to minus 1 okay we may write that as minus infinity comma minus 1 notice that anytime we have infinity we make use of the parentheses this is the parentheses okay now and then anytime we make anytime we make use of equal to that is anytime it includes minus one we make use of the square bracket now if it does not include minus one i will make use of the same parenthesis i will make use of this now let me write for x greater than or equal to four for x greater than or equal to four then i will need to write something of this nature four comma positive infinity anytime we make use of infinity we use the bracket but because I'm supposed to use that same bracket for 4 but because it includes 4 since we have x greater than or equal to 4 then I need to make use of the bracket so I'll join it with union all right so that's how to write the interval notation for something of this nature and this is the number line let's solve another example so let's say you want to solve 2x squared minus 3x and then greater than 2 okay so properly we need to just rearrange to have a proper quadratic expression so that I will have something of this nature 2x squared minus 3x then minus 2 greater than 0 so I actually got this by subtracting 2 from both sides okay so I need to deal with this quadratic expression which is this so how do I factorize this you can actually you can actually solve for this quadratic with your calculator if you solve with your calculator you will have a particular value for x so let's see what we have if we solve with calculator if you solve with your calculator you will have x equal to 2 you will just have the end point straight away and x equal to minus 1 upon 2 so these are the end points notice that from these end points I can get the factors by just taking 2 to this side of the equation if I do that, I'll have x, that's supposed to be x minus 2, and then I'll have x plus half, which is supposed to be greater than 0. That is, by taking minus half to this side of the equation. So, okay, now I have the factors and I have the endpoints already. Now, I need, just need to plot the endpoints on the number line. The least endpoint, which is minus 1 upon 2. The other endpoint, which is 2. Okay? Now, notice that this is positive infinity, and then this is negative 
infinity and the name of this region that should be x greater than 2 because it consists of values that are greater than 2 all right so the name of this region is x less than 2 okay then it will be greater than minus 1 upon 2 and then this will be less than minus 1 upon 2 all right so we just need to pick up values to test and then we are done if i pick up a value in this region let's say i pick up minus 6 all right if i pick up minus 6 minus 6 and i substitute into this factor that means i'll have minus 6 minus 2 which is supposed to be minus 8 that's a negative value if i pick up that same minus 6 inside this okay inside this that means i'll have minus 6 plus half and that's supposed to be plus 11 minus 11 upon 2 which is also a negative value so i'll have negative negative multiplied by negative that's positive that means this region satisfies all right let's test for another region if i pick up a value in this region in the middle region let's say i want to pick a value i can pick one one is in that region zero is also in that region i can also make use of zero if i make use of one one minus two that's negative okay 1 plus 1 over 2 that's supposed to be 3 upon 2 and that's supposed to be a positive value so minus multiplied by plus that's minus so it means that this region does not satisfy okay so if we make use of the let's test the last region for the last region we can make use of 8 8 minus 2 if i substitute a 8 into x 8 minus 2 that's supposed to be 6 okay that's positive 8 plus 1 over 2 that's another positive positive multiplied by positive is positive all right that means this region these two region actually satisfies the inequality all right so the final answer is x x less than minus 1 upon 2 or x is greater than 2 all right we can draw the number line we don't need to shade because it does not include greater than it only includes it does not include equal to it only includes greater than so we don't need to shade so this is the number line and then this so we have this and this so that's it we can also write the interval notation anytime you have infinity you make use of the the parentheses and then minus one upon two it does not include minus one upon two so you do something like you join it with union and then two comma positive infinity so that's it now you may want to solve it with the table there is a particular table if you want to make use of the table probably you have seen it in some text now the table is let me let's use the table so in the table you will have the conditions right here which are x less than minus 1 upon 2 okay x less than minus 1 upon 2 and then the other one which is x less than 2 but x greater than minus 1 upon 2 and then the order which is x greater than 2 all right so the factors now the factors are x minus 2 and then we also have x plus 1 over 2 and then we also have the product of the two factors okay so we should, we should have x minus 2 in here and x plus 1 upon 2 okay okay just bear with me now that's x plus 1 upon 2 now x less than minus 1 over 2 if i pick a value in that region if i pick up that same minus x minus 5 if i pick up x minus 5 and i substitute into this 
okay that will be minus 5 minus 2 that's minus that's if i put that same minus 5 right here minus 5 plus half that's minus so minus multiplied by minus that's plus if i pick up a value in this region i may make use of zero if i substitute zero right here that will be zero minus half that's zero minus two that's of course minus two which is negative zero plus half is still positive so minus multiply by plus that's plus now x greater than two that's supposed to be three which is three three then three minus two is positive three plus one upon two that's also positive positive multiplied by positive is positive oh there's a mistake right here okay this is supposed to be okay this is supposed to be negative so since minus multiplied by plus is minus so the region that will satisfy the inequality is the region that is greater than zero greater than zero means positive so we'll go with this region and this region so this is the answer all right thanks for watching do share with your friends and subscribe to this channel